All right, I hate it. <laughs> already, just from the fucking logo, I already hate it. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm really wanting to try to like get my um biased obviousism from uh for this game. Hey there guys, it's basically through and three here with the uh, new let's play of Trigger Happy Havoc Dan Conropa. I really don't know how to feel about this game. A lot of people say they enjoyed it. It's basically like the Phoenix Wright of Vita games, I guess, and I do enjoy some of some Phoenix Wright. I'm not sure if there's like a more um, a descriptive uh, description for the game, though, but that's the general idea as to what this game's all about. Um, so, option menu, change reticle movement speed during... First off, thank god this game works on my PlayStation TV. This is how I'm recording PlayStation Vita games, by the way, because how do I... There are some games I try to test out that won't will not work whatsoever, and by some games I test out, I mean four games, because that's like the, my entire library right there. Not counting up PlayStation Plus free games that are on my other account, but whatever. Uh, bleh. Out of all the three, uh, four games I've tested out, three of them work. But that's about it. Um, movement, Bob. What the hell? Set whether or not you view Bob's as you move. What is this, Minecraft? What the hell is this shit? Radical speed. Change the radical movement speed during the investigation. I'm going to set that to max just in case. Voice. Okay. Alright. Let's start the game. Uh, language. English. Why the fuck would I ever do Japanese? Logic. Difficulty. Kind. Gentle. Kind. Or mean. Action difficulty, gentle, kind, or mean. I'm guessing these are the uh, difficulty settings. Let's set it to kind for now. I don't think I'm going to be able to deal with the mean kind. I don't want the game to be a completely easy cakewalk, so let's uh, do that. Dubstep. Great way to start. Uh, oh boy. What the fuck is going on? Uh? I'll say I really do like the uh, whole kind of comic book 3D art style. What the fuck's going on already? Three seconds. I'm fucking confused. What the hell? Also, is this on copyrighted? I I I feel like I should be talking over through this. The imagery is nice, but I don't know what the fuck's going on. Is this the part of the crime scene? This little teddy bear little thing is the murderer and we're trying to... what? That cooked up the competition. More than just third degree Gurns, ladies and gentlemen. That's like solar powered dissolving. Uh. And the title of the game is that, in case you missed it. Um, yeah, I have no idea what to think about this game, From, of course. <laughs> uh, a lot of people wanted me to play it, so I'll just do it and figure out what I think about it. Uh, the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Welcome to Inabus Station. <laughs> it's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings a top it brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. I can see that. Uh, thanks for being so literal, game, whoever you are. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to be all—you have to already be attending high school. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can't really go into high school unless you're skipping unless you're skipping grades or whatever. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. It looks kind of like a shit place to me. No one's clean at all whatsoever. It's made out of bricks. Not really that interior decorative. Was me. What was the previous? 
Okay, left bumper does that, I guess, in case I want to see the art pictures or whatever. Oh, no, don't do that. Triggers do nothing. I'm not sure they have triggers on the Polito, so it doesn't really matter. Before we go any farther... Oh, shit, finally voice acting. Questions. I don't have to speak at all. My name's Makoto Naegi. Wait, isn't Makoto a girl's name? And no voice acting, okay. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. You seem like every single main protagonist in every JRPG slash anime slash anything Japanese related I've seen. Long, bushy hair. Yeah, that's basically it. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grade special abilities, even personality. I'm sure you'll be very fun at parties then. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, such as otaku shit, but I it's not like I'm a physic or it's not like oh, I'm it's not like I'm I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, it would be Rap God by Eminem. <laughs> It'd all just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't say I'm your everyday hero type. Oh, but you're in a Japanese anime. Trust me, you will be your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong points, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe- is there a difference between the blue text or the white text? I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no order. It's, but it's no wonder I feel the way I am, or I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. So you guys said this was kind of like Phoenix Wright, right? <laughs> I don't see a lawyer or anything, but. I'll roll with it. Maybe he's the lawyer. He's going to law school, and this is just the early predicaments of what's to come. Uh, whoa, what is this? Okay, Hope's Peak Academy. Uh, name anonymous. Come on, keep it coming. Apparently, my friend kind of knows them. I guess everything there start state of the art. This year's ultimate pop sensation is gonna be going there. E yeah, the ultimate baseball pro. Oh, wait, is this? Oh, the IDs are completely different. Okay. I'll just... it's only for winners. How can anyone get in? Anyone can't. Okay. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are trends online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees in Windows Vista. So, this game was made in 2010, right? So, to prepare, I looked up... Windows 7 was there, right? I don't know. Uh, so, to prepare, I looked up some of those trends. All I saw was talking about ultimate students, who were way beyond your average high school students. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a prop group famous all over the country. Aren't they all? There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. What kind of fucking name is that? 400 yen for one magazine? I'll take it! No, seriously, 400 yen is like, what, 4 cents? That's pretty cheap, right? Uh, she's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. And every high school man wants to bang. Oh, but they also mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. This is like Persona, isn't it? We got a singer. A baseball player. Uh, I, I don't see any relation to the fashion magazine though, but we also have a biker gang leader. Well, not bike, whatever. 
The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere, I love the guy. Aren't... So is there like, hold on, is there like a difference between a Yakuza and a biker gang or something? Or are they like kind of the same thing? I'm a little bit confused on that though, because I read like an article about a whole Yakuza war that's planning to happen somewhere in Tokyo soon, but um... I don't know, like, is that like the same thing as like the biker gang or... No wait, no, a Yakuza is a fucking mafia, right? They're like a mafia gang, not a biker gang, so they're different people or do they like have some sort of like relation to each other? Oh, speaking of Yakuza, um, what, what game is... Isn't there like a game about Yakuza made by Sega or something? Uh, on top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate- Wait, hold on, a fanfic creator could get into this fucking high school, really? The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant- What the fuck is a clairvoyant? Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. I was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging, I mean, I know I don't have much in my way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to be- to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Alright, what did you say? We recently held a lottery- <laughs> Is that it? You just got lucky? <laughs> We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> really? That, 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 that's the only reason why an average person like you managed to attain this high, high class high school. It's because you fucking won in the lottery. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our high school. As a result, you have been selected as we invite you to join us in the ultimate lucky student. What an achievement! They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have be been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. What an achievement, ladies and gentlemen! Makoto Naegi. Naegi. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I start to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I look down of, at the acceptance letter clutching my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 p.m. Or 8 a.m., sorry. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but... I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it! Uh, I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I've done this a million times before. I look, I, and I took my first step towards the main hall. I'll give it credit, it's not as descriptive as Persona 4 Ultimax. They went way too deep beyond in order to describe every single detail. This guy's just paraphrasing it, I like that. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes. Um, hold on, let me check something real quickly. Just to make sure I'm actually recording this shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, 14 minutes. We're good to go. Now, something I'm kind of worried about is the fact that every time I switch to HDMI 4 to HDMI 3, it always says no signal until, like, 5 seconds later. I'm not sure if that's gonna, like, fuck up the recording or anything, but just in case, we'll be right back. Stay tuned for the next episode. I think that's gonna be a good introductory for, um, the game. Stay tuned for the next episode, guys. Be stoned. I said show, not stone. Don't misinterpret me, please.
Good God, that fucking tile car looks creepy. Be right back. I'm gonna take a shower or something.